Okay, today our father in the Lord clocks 82. Pastor Kumi is 82 today. It was on the 17th of November 1965 and about 6.30 in the evening that I just closed the door and locked the door. I said, Lord, today is today. It wasn't a meeting like this. It wasn't a congress like this. It wasn't a church service. I just locked the door. I read the word of God that said if there is only one person in the whole world that will want to get sanctified and remain holy, even all, even to all people around him are not holy and not righteous and they don't want it if God can find one person on the face of the earth that will see God and be holy I said God I am that one God I am that one whoever wants it whoever does not want it God I am that one and I just locked the door the, the, the others were the cafeteria they were eating but I said oh God I don't want food if you don't sanctify me and make me holy where will I be and what will education do me and I just I was by my side the side of my bed kneeling down and praying tears coming out nobody preached to me i was just reading that thing and you know before a long time that time that very evening 17th of november i will never never for how can you forget when you meet god face to face how can you forget when he brings the fire from the altar of heaven how can you forget when he circumcises your heart when he purges your heart when he takes that adamic nature away from you how can you forget when the fire continues to burn and you know when i came out of that room that very day when i was sanctified i don't know whether i could talk to anybody in fact i still remember the name of a particular brother now a beloved brother but not in deeper life because you know 1965 there was no deeper life 66 no deeper life he belonged to a particular place he saw me like this he said my brother the way i look at your face you are going too far I couldn't tell him what was happening, but he knew because he had been a Christian before I became a Christian. And he said, the way I look at you, you are going too far because, you know, I was had been at the altar with God. And I said, I lay this thing upon the altar. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Many years, think about it, 1965 to this time, many years have come and gone. But I thank God that consecration I made in that room, B3 Azikiwe Hall, it is still standing today. And I'm still keeping on it today. And that is why I still invite a lot of people that you young people make a covenant with the Lord. That the Lord will sanctify you, that the Lord will purify you. And when he does, there will be such a work in your life that you will continue. And if Jesus tarries, uh, you know, many years, then we'll still find you in the kingdom of God. Wow. Our father, Pastor W.F. Kumwe, is a father. He is a teacher come from God. The general superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. A lover of the youth. He's an apostle to the world. A grandfather. And he's a pastor to his people. Wow. And I'm really happy to be among those to celebrate this great day with you. His unflinching focus and vision on the mission of the Great Commission is worthy of emulation. We are celebrating a gem, an icon. His leadership style is excellent and exceptional. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui has impacted my life personally in so many areas. And there's one thing that baffles me in his messages, and that is the, he has this excellent command of alliteration. You could check his messages, you surely see the way he uses alliteration, and it, it really baffles me a lot. And there is another thing I know about him. I don't think there's any of his messages that he would not point out to salvation, sanctification. He's, he's somebody that never compromises on standards. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui preaches the totality of the Word of God. He's a man with a genuine heart to contribute to the transformation of lives and to take them to the utmost destination called heaven. And I pray that even as we celebrate him today, more of God's grace, more of God's anointing, more of God's you know, strength upon him. On this very day, I celebrate our amiable pastor, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. So on this glorious day, I pray that the Lord grant you more grace, more strength, more anointing, more unction, more vision, more revelation of his word. In Jesus' name, amen. And I pray that God will continue to strengthen him to do more for the kingdom of God, to transform lives just as God has been using him to do. And I pray 
that he will be strengthened in his inner man and empowered to do more for God. Happy birthday, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. I wish you happy birthday from the Unconquerables. Once again, happy birthday to you, uh, dear father. And this is from the Unconquerables. We love you. Happy birthday to you, sir, Pastor W.F. Kumi.